Hi, let's talk about things. As the year begins to reach its end, One Piece has been extremely well for a lot of people. I have been one of the few who actually been criticizing it because, well, I do not like this kind of suspense. It gives you a sense of hopelessness. Something like, you cannot predict what is happening. And don't get me wrong, that is exactly what uh, people want nowadays. They want a sense of unpredictably. Something where they wonder, oh, that's gonna happen. Wait, wait, wait. What's gonna happen? The edge of the seat. And I have to admit, even I admit, Uda has done that very well this week. I mean, not this week, this year, when it comes to One Piece. Hi for those who are watching. It's the Angry Man fan, the Despair Reviewer, bringing you an, a follow-up on the whole Cake Island and Totoland theory discussion. I'm probably not gonna talk about that one as I did in this one because I made that a couple of months ago. And if someone by any chance is watching this, go back and watch that one. What I'm gonna talk about is a little bit what other people have been talking about. We will not get a One Piece chapter this week. We will get one in the next year. And a lot of things have been promised to us this next year. In fact, there have been so many things that um, I actually am more worried than ever how the Hulk Cake Island arc is gonna end. So how could it end? Well, this is actually what this theory vi video is talking about. It's to talk about uh, what I think is gonna happen, what I want it to happen, at the same time trying to talk about uh, how is that unlikely. First of all, the most people are beginning to ask themselves after chapter 850 is now, okay, then who is, should be defeated this arc? Because and then it turns out that Pudding may have been evil, well may, actually been confirmed to be evil. Although there's still those theories that actually keeps in doing why right now it doesn't make sense. Which is also something I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about there's that Uda have done a very wonderful job with this whole cake or Totland arc. However, he has also thrown in a lot of things that does not make sense. Also, be mostly because they're aimed at us in order to keep us guessing on our feet. Once and then once the reveal happens, then we say, oh, I knew it or... It's that after all. Most of all, we'll begin by talking with Pudding. Chapter 850 turned out that Pudding is actually an evil person. She has a beautiful face, yet a psychotic mind, similar to her younger sister Anana. Which I, by the way, did not like. Mostly because I just didn't like the fact that someone so ugly as Big Mom had such a beautiful daughter that was such corrupted in the heart. Because that seems to hint that Lola is the only good kid of the Charlotte family, which also does not make sense. Because what we have seen of Pudding, she said her family are the only ones who know her true identity. When she meant family, does she mean the big mom Charlotte family, or did she mean the entire pirate crew? If she meant only the big mom, uh, I mean uh, the Charlotte family, then I guess to say every time she has been acting this sweet, emotionally, distant girl, then I guess, yes, it makes sense why she still would act like that. Because after all, only her family of blood know that. Oh, but during the scene of chapter, what was it, 848, she, um, she was in the balcony and actually had a flashback of her sister Lola. If she's so loyal to her mother, why the hell did we even see that flashback? That did not make sense. Did we see that in order to make us throw off the guard? Or is that some hinting that maybe there is something deeper to Pudding's uh, uh, sociopathy? No idea, but for now, I go with the fact that she is so sociopathic and Uda just threw that in to, to mislead us. Because if we're talking about Lola, there's a lot of things about Lola that also does not make sense. And what is that? That is the fact that she left Big Mom to find a uh, husband of her own. And um, she said to a young pudding, at least according to the flashback, Don't worry, dear. She won't kill me. We're family after all. And yet everything Big Mom has said about Lola is uh, complete anger and hate. 
So what I mean, and the fact that she told to, to Nami, she will help you. Just tell her I'm fine, all right. Is it a possibility that even, no, I'm not saying Lola is evil. I'd highly doubt everything she did was just an act. What I mean to say is, it seems like a lot of the Charlotte family members are a little bit, you know, crazy. Well, duh, having a mother like uh, Big Mom is not healthy. So what I mean to say is, is it possible Lola is suffering from some, some kind of denial? You know, you know that thing when you have an abusive childhood and then you create an image of your parent in order to uh, f mislead yourself that you love that person when you actually hate them. Is it possible Lola had created that out of out of all these rejections or something like that? Or is Lola really that naive? That's the first thing we could have talked about. Now we're talking about the most important thing. How will this arc end? We have been promised the Reverie arc and the um, Wanokuri arc, meaning that this arc will end in 2017. The only question is when. Very likely late summer, or at least after the summer, given how Oda's pace always is. The question is, though, exactly how will it end? There are, uh, I don't know exactly how many ways there are, but there are, I think there is, well, l let's count a couple, I think three I had in mind. The first, which people consider is the most likely one, in chapter 850, Pudding told uh, Reiju that they plan on killing all the Vinsmokes and then take their technology. However, given for what we've seen of the Vinsmokes, I highly doubt they will take this line down, even if there is a Jonko crew member. This will create a battle that will allow the Strawats to copy the Ponograph and then just escape. That's the option number one, which is currently the only thing that makes sense. However, I do not want number one to happen. If that happens, then I will sincerely become pissed. I, I'm actually afraid to make a promise saying, I want to make a promise saying I will stop reading One Piece right there and there. But I don't want to make that. Because if that happens, then that means we'll end an arc without even kicking a bad guy's ass. Moreover, Sanji wouldn't even get redemption. But it is the only thing that makes sense for people. Because, number two, Luffy will defeat B M Big Mom. This is the one people says, Are you really that stupid? There is no way Luffy is ready to defeat Ayonko. Because we cannot forget he fought her son, Cracker, which, by the way, has the lowest uh, uh, bounty of all her children in the Free Sweet Chill Commander. If he cannot even defeat uh, him then there's no way he can defeat Big Mom. And that makes sense. Yeah, of course. But for the 100th time, do anybody know what kind of arc we're going to get soon in 2017? Uh, what was that again? Oh yeah, the Wano Kuri arc. And who is the main antagonist there? Mother freaking Kaido. And now take off your earrings because now I'm gonna scream. Mother freaking Kaido! Do you get what I'm trying to tell you? I mean to tell you, Luffy have to defeat, has to defeat Kaido. It doesn't matter how immortal Kaido is. It doesn't matter how undefeatable it is. Kaido must lose! Now I'll calm down. Because, um, why? Because if you think about it, that will create a great change in the world. And Kaido is up in Big Mom about the most mentally unstable Jonko ever. He need to be defeated. So of course Luffy's gonna fight him and win. We just don't know how. So the question is, how can he defeat Big Mom? I can only think of one way. Awaken his devil fruit. Awaken a devil fruit would create a new gear and also a new arsenal and power. We saw how powerful Don Flamingo was with that, and if Don Flamingo just wasn't so unstable already, it's very likely he would have won. So if Luffy awakened his devil fruit, he can try I think he can actually logically hurt Big Mom. 
Of course, it's not exactly if Big Mom herself has awakened her devil fruit, then that's very likely not. Because there's a... That's those two. The three, third is, if they're going to fight Big Mom, who is going to be the ally? And people think that uh, the Straw Hats will team up with the Vin Smokes family and then give them hell. We have, after all, not seen the Sun Pirates... Uh, joining up with the Strahats yet, and the most wild card of them all, where is Beesh? Is it very likely that um, the Vin Smokes also plan on backstabbing Big Mom during the wedding and have teamed up with Beesh in order to do that? I just want to know why, but I think it's because, well, he's a, he's a worse generation. He wouldn't want to be a subordinate of a Junko forever. So... If they were to team up with the Vinsmoke and the Sun Pirates and the Fire Tank Pirates, number three, is it very likely that they could have that they can win if they do that? I say their chances increase, but I do not want that to happen. I mean, I want them to team up with the Sun Pirates, but I do not want them to team up with the Fire Tank Pirates nor the Vinsmoke family. What we have seen from the Vinsmokes, it's just plain and simple, um, just as unforgiving as. Big Mom. Are you telling me that one villain is gonna face karma while another one don't? I have, will have a huge problem with that. I mean, I actually would um, prefer if Ryuju turned out to have a backup programming within all her in the German cl clones. That way they will turn on Vince Smokes and Big Mom and follow her because she is, seems to be the only kind one of the Vince Smokes. So if that happened, I would have no problem with that. But it seems that likely that will not happen after all. It's also the fact that uh, a lot of people are wondering, is it possible that Pudding is playing everybody? I mean, her psychopathy, if we say she is the master's actress and is fooling us, she may very well just keep on fooling, her, fooling us right now. But let's say she's not fooling us and she is... Uh, Yes, as insane as she is. Is it possible, yes, in order for us to create a more sense of dread, is it possible that Pudding is more insane than even Big Mom? Because uh, there's a, a lot of things that does not make sense here. And that is, if Big Mom really wants to destroy the Vinsmokes, I mean, I know she doesn't like them, but if she really wants to destroy the Vinsmokes, why all this? I mean, Big Mom has a, is crazy, I have no doubt about that, so it's useless to actually think reason about her. But I think she really looked forward to this wedding. But maybe it really is just a red wedding. And she wasn't looking forward to it. She was looking forward to killing the Vinsmokes, then eat the birthday cakes, and then taking control of Jerma. And we all know she will not take control over Jerma. The arc cannot end that way. It cannot be allowed to end that way. So what if Pudding is actually planning on betraying Big Mom too? What if she is on nobody's side by her own and betraying even Big Mom and saying that maybe Big Mom really didn't want to do this after all, but she's saying all this in order to create scorn me so Big Mom can be killed. And giving us number four, the big confusion who is the real villain? So if Pudding turns out to be the real main antagonist during this arc, well, then Uda, you really outdid yourself then. However, I would prefer not that to happen. It's bad enough she is revealed to be a sociopath. It's gonna be bad enough if that also happened. But I do not believe number five. Number five was people thinking that Big Mom will be an ally. And now, with Pudding's reveal, I mean, number five, the fact that people said Big Mom is an ally. Okay, I admit I was wrong about Pudding, but I have to say to people, I still believe that theory is stupid. Yeah, I know, uh, if I'm wrong about this, then pinch myself, I am a very bad in reading all this, but from what we saw Big Mom, she is not, I can, I can hardly believe she is the one who's also acting. If she taught putting acting, then fine. But from what we see with Big Mom, it's just pure and simple maniac -y and insanity. So uh, I see no reason why Big Mom would be an ally. And now with Pudding's reveal of her true colors, at least what we can presume, 
then that, then that lowers even more. So which one of these is gonna happen? Huh, let's see now, which one was it? Well, you can give me your thoughts if you have any. Who do you really, which one of these five do you most prefer? I fear that number one is the one who's gonna happen. If I wanted to pick, I think I would have picked number two, Luffy defeating Big Mom, right? But people just say that is not possible. So Uda had really outdone himself this arc. He has created an arc where we cannot predict anything. But um, again, give me your thoughts if you have any. And uh, what do you think will happen 2017? Will Sanji finally, finally, FINALLY defeat a very high powerful per people? Will Luffy awaken his devil fruit? Moreover, will the Sun Pirates finally show them up and will Jinbei be alive? Also, will Pedro get back his lifespan? Because it's not confirmed that Big Mom can only take lifespan, not give it away. If she... I mean, she should, right? So, all the more reason for Luffy to defeat Big Mom. Given to the fact that once Luffy hears that Pedro is dying because of Big Mom, then he's really gonna hate her even more. After all, he never forgives anybody who hurts his friends. Now I'm done. Give me a false if you have any.